Welcome everybody. So what I'd like to do is show you how to solve this compound, or I'm sorry, not compound, uh, this absolute value inequality. But in solving an absolute value inequality, we're going to create, we're going to rewrite it as a compound inequality because just like equations, we have to take care of our two cases, right? The positive and the negative. But since we're dealing with inequalities, when we do that, uh, we are going to produce now a compound inequality. When it's greater than or equal to, we're going to create a compound inequality in the fact of or. So therefore, my two cases are going to look like this. 2x plus 6 is greater than or equal to 10. And 2x plus 6 is less than or equal to negative 10. So just like when we had you know, the compound inequality um, with the or statement, uh, we're going to be doing the exact same thing. We're going to rewrite it as the pot of the negative and make sure we flip the sign as well. So now we just solve each, each uh, inequality separately and then graph. So here I subtract 6 on both sides. Here I'm going to subtract 6 on both sides. So I have 2x is greater than or equal to 4. Now I divide by 2, divide by 2. x is greater than or equal to 2. Here I have 2x is less than or equal to negative 16. Divide by 2, divide by 2. x is less than or equal to negative 8. OK. So now, um, to go ahead and graph this, I see that x is greater than or equal to 2, and x is less than or equal to negative 8. So I want to make sure both of those values are included um, on my number line. So I'll start 0 here. I'll have 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I'll do negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6. It's kind of nice when somebody already does this for you. Negative 7, negative 8, negative 9, negative 10. OK, so now what we're going to do is at each of these values, I'm going to make a dot. Uh, so I'm going to make a dot at 2 and a dot at negative 8. Now, we can definitely do test points. Um, but hopefully, if you've taken them out of the courses, you can see you know, test points. Again, all you do is you simply plug in the value in for there. And so let's just, I'm not going to show the work for the test point um, because this is a little bit more advanced. So we should be past test points. But you can still use test points. You know, 3. Is, three, is that going to be true or false? Well, you plug 3 in for x. 3 is greater than or equal to 2. That's true. So therefore, you shade towards the true. And it's always helpful to always double check, make sure to the left is going to still be false. So plug 0. Is 0 greater than or equal to 2? No, that's false. All right. Now let's try 0 in for this equation for negative 8. Is 0 less than or equal to negative 8? No, that's false again. So therefore, I'm going to shade towards the true. And let's try it. Is negative 9 less than or equal to negative 8? Yes, it is. Now, remember, since these are both less than or equal to, I know that they, I'm going to shade in both of these points. You can also test each one of these points for your inequalities. And since it says equal to, then they are going to be true. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph and solve an absolute value inequality. Thanks.